humans have existed for millions of years as part of nature. But then something changed, and in an incredibly short amount of time, we terraformed this planet and designed it to fit our needs. As far as we know, we're the first beings to awaken and completely take over a planet. The transition from hunting and gathering to farming and building was so breathtaking. It's probably because we know very little about the universe. Just keep that in mind. Only <laughs> fast that many of our ways of thinking about the world are no longer useful. One of our most outdated ideas is that the most commonly used calendar in the world insists that we live in the year 2016. Oh, this looks like a great video. I just want to emphasize here for a point. I keep getting a lot of comments in the videos lately of Kurzweil's art like uh, just really mean comments like, you're a douchebag, man, like, Kurzweil's awesome. And I just want to emphasize, like, I love Kurzweil's videos and what these people make, all right? So please, if you're watching this, if you haven't watched before, Kurzweil's art is awesome. I think the guy should win a Nobel Prize in physics. I mean, science communication. So no hate. I just, you know, just want to, talk some ideas this and science. distorts our view of our own history and makes it harder to understand who we are as a species and just how far we've come in an incredibly short amount of time so maybe it's time to choose a year zero for humanity a year zero that truly represents us as a species and includes all cultures a wow i've thought about time and the different ways we could measure it but choosing a new year zero yeah i, I can't remember if I've thought about this before. When we began building our own world on top of the old one. I don't like it. That's probably why I have it. Because I think, no. Like, why can't you? I would prefer to go back to the oldest points, the oldest fossil we can find of, like. But then what do you define? We have defined, like, humans and, you know, things slightly further back. But it's kind of messy, right? Like, we call them modern humans, what, like, 300,000 years ago. But there's evidence further back, so... I don't know what you do there, but I would rather do something like that because that kind of gives an a more accurate, maybe the first cave painting, maybe like 41,000 years ago. I think that would be really cool if we're in the year uh, 41,000 and that would be so much cool because I think that's more of an accurate representation. Yes, weirdly. <laughs> 12,000 years ago, hundreds... I, I'm ready to have my mind changed because I just presented that I don't like this idea, but I'm fairly confident he's going to be able to change my mind, right? Because the people behind these videos are brilliant. ...of humans came together in the hills of southern Anatolia. They were hunters and gatherers without knowledge of agriculture or metalworking. All they had were tools made of stone and wood. But they built humanity's first big construction project, 7,000 years before the pyramids were built in Egypt. What, like, it's where did they... together in the hills of southern Anatolia. Uh, I, it doesn't ring a bell. Calendar, but does not the ring start a bell. of our... Sorry. ...around that time that humans truly began to build their own world, which would make it a fitting milestone in our history for the start of our calendar. This moment in time is so distinct that scientist Cesare Emiliani proposed that humanity should switch to what he called the Holocene calendar by adding 10,000 years to our current Gregorian calendar. We don't need to change our well-established days and months, and religious calendars could stay the same as well. But for all official purposes, our current year would be the year 12,016 of the human era. This would drastically alter how we think about history. No, I still don't like it. I still think uh, it's kind of silly, you know, if you just... There's been a roughly about 117 billion humans to ever live. We know about half of them lived before 2000 BCE, right? That's a lot of humans before this time they're saying around 10,000. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's right to say year zero when you had so much human life and human suffering to get to where we are now and to that point that they're calling they want to call zero it just kind of negates all of that previous human suffering and um what happened do you see what i'm saying it's like i feel like that doesn't it's not right it's like all of those human lives were what worthless no they are why we were here so I, I don't see why we should just do away with all that if there's such a thing as you know just natural evolution on worlds elsewhere in the universe like i think it'll 
it might also take a long time you know before you get to a very advanced civilization and how it feels let's take a very brief look and move through our new history from our new year zero 12,000 years ago saw the beginning of the first construction <laughs> construction project kicking off our history. It would be in use for about 2,000 years. It took nearly a millennium until Jericho, probably the first city on Earth, was founded in the year 1000 after the start of the human era. Progress was still very, very slow at this point. Over the next <coughs> thousand years, more and more permanent settlements <coughs> appeared around the world, and more and more plants and animals were domesticated as agriculture spread. Evidence for trade over thousands of kilometers has been found from this period. Around five million humans were alive at this point in history, fewer than live in London today. Technology advanced constantly at a slow pace. Pottery became widespread. The first cultural communities appeared in China, India, and the Fertile Crescent. Around the year 4,000, 8,000 years ago from today, humans started to use metal for the first time. Someone asked, how do we, how do people know what old civilizations are called? We don't always know, Kaiden. We just give them a name sometimes. You know, what? what's that old one, the Silurians? Not sure if that actually comes from anything. I don't know because I'm, I, you know, I'm not an expert in um, that, that area. Um, so... Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure they just make some of them up. I, I don't know enough in this area, but it's beautiful. I've always been fascinated by ancient human civilizations. Usually they just name it after the current name for the geographic area they found. Oh, there you go. We have an expert. They name it after some tool or structure they find. Right. Oop. Wheel was invented. In South America, the Chinchorro culture started to artificially mummify humans 2,000 years earlier than in ancient Egypt. The first high cultures began emerging around the year 7000. The Indus Valley Civilization, Ancient Egypt, the Minoans in Greece, and the Sumerians in Mesopotamia. Penge was built in Britain, and the first dynasty in China began. Utzi the Iceman lived around this time. What we consider history now started, and things began picking up pace as the world population rose to over 30 million. A number of new high cultures appeared around the world, many writing down their legend. Okay, so Gilgamesh. Oh, damn. Yes. I just want to do a little quick thing from something I'm creating myself called Kel. Guess what, guys? If you heard about it before, the Mac OS is out. You guys can come use it on Mac. The beta for Kel VPN. So if you're interested in supporting your boy, come download it. Mac OS is out now. Uh, so make sure you download it. Sign up and make sure you subscribe, otherwise it also won't work. You have to subscribe. It's a seven-day free trial. And check out this video to figure out how to get it to work. Before we start playing, I actually just wanted to say, I was waiting to present what I would like to do for a calendar for humanity uh, till the end-ish. But I would rather do it on some kind of uh, scale that isn't arbitrary, right? Something that actually relates to something uh, objective in our universe i think that would be really cool um <clears throat> for instance our solar system came into being roughly four and a half billion years ago um so i just think we could create a much more objective calendar and it's not like we need to call it you know the year four and a half billion whatever right we could just you know uh put that on some kind of scale which you know we're in the year like something that resembles now but more accurate. So, and then, you know, we could teach kids this is just on a log scale or something, you know? More and more cities were founded. In South America, the Olmec culture emerged. Around this time, the legendary Siege of Troy is supposed Achilles! to- Achilles! Man, Achilles is one of my favorite historical figures. For sure. Happened. Soon after, in the Eastern Mediterranean and the Fertile Crescent, the Bronze Age ended in violence. Every Bronze Age culture, except Egypt, was destroyed by mysterious invaders. Writing and progress froze for hundreds of years. Around the year 9500, what we consider Western culture began. The Greek city-states beat off the Persian invasion and triggered their Golden Era, ended by Alexander the Great around 9700. 
100 years later, Rome destroyed Carthage and became a dominant force in the world. Caesar was murdered in the year 9,956, while the world population had risen to about 300 million people. And it's only now, around the year 10,000, that we've reached the point where the Gregorian calendar and our human history begins. A mere 2,000 years from now, humans will walk on the moon. If we think about history as we do now, we are underplaying 10,000 years of human progress and development. Including all of it in our calendar makes our past more impressive. It shows how progress became exponential. Just think about all the history before 10,000 years ago when the ice age, last ice age ended. How much history we're potentially just, we don't know about. I think there's probably lots of history within those times further back. So I, I, you know, I'm not really buying this sort of take, you know, there's clearly a lot more history further back. There's some structures we have found that are, you know, like really quite threatening, like what we currently think we know about this timeline that was just presented. So I don't know. I think it's silly to ignore the rest of human history when there's so much life, so much human life and like the development of tools, painting. I don't know. That seems like bigger leaps in our history than, um, some of the stuff presented here. Essential with time, and it incorporates all humans from all cultures into our calendar. Really? Does it? A new year zero for our history could reframe how we think of ourselves. As a building project that started 12,000 years ago, when for the first time our ancestors came together to carve a temple out of bedrock with tools made of stone, not knowing what they would set in motion where it would lead us as a species. From building the first temple to ships flying beyond the sky. I don't, I don't know, man. I, I can't help but think as well, like with ancient, like Aborigines, for instance, down here in Australia, we know they've been here for like 80,000 to 120,000 years. And it's, it's similar all around the world with other, other peoples. And um, I can't help but feel there would have been things built long time ago. Uh, you know, tiny little monuments, maybe, or even monuments that were just lost to time. So, I, you know, I think um, people need to respect that we just don't know everything. And there could have been things and uh, monuments further back that we uh, that are completely lost to us. I think uh, that's... And it's kind of weird that you can never kind of talk about it freely as well. Changing year zero would break computers. <laughs> yeah, adding, adding too many uh, leap seconds would also break computers. <laughs> Uh, you see the negative leap seconds that we have to add so often, and <laughs> we, we might have to add uh, a kind of a few more soon that are literally going to, I don't know what, how computers are going to deal with that. Negative leap seconds. <laughs> We've made a Kurzgesagt version of the human era calendar that you can buy here if you want. Does year zero fit in time? Uh, that's, a, that's a long debate, my friend. I mean, why not? Or you could just go back to the start of the universe, right? We'll, we'll be in year like 13.74 billion. That would be more interesting once again. No? Year zero wasn't a thing. It went to one. What? What, what are you talking about, dude? <laughs> All right. 